back everyone, Yael here with Nurturing Resilience. And by request, we're gonna do a, a more movement-oriented practice today. Um, we are in the month of December, 2021. We can feel winter approaching. And unfortunately, there's been a new variant of, um, of COVID Omicron. And so we're continuing to ride the waves of uncertainty. And I think because of that, it's really important for us to stay uh, positive. It's really important for us to move through instead of kind of wanting to escape. And in that light, I just thought we would do a little bit of movement you could with um, in an unusual way, which is really good for resilience. So sometimes doing things in a, in a familiar and comforting way can be very grounding. It's also important for us to balance that out with, uh, with novelty. So I'm using a stick here that was a walking stick I found in the Shenandoah. Someone had left it in the parking lot. My knee was hurting the day that I picked this up and it was the perfect height so I have it. You could use a broom, you could use a sort of metal walking stick. Uh, you want it to be uh, long enough so that you could kind of spread your arms on it. So if you're if you're watching this, just pause the video and uh, and go get a stick. And when you're back, we're just going to start with some very gentle movement. Um, just maybe taking your hands up in a V, holding onto the stick and we'll just inhale, inhale the arms up and exhale them just to the point where you feel that tension. Inhale to come up and exhale to come down. Now, if there's a lot of tension, make the V a little bit wider. And if you're not feeling enough, you could certainly come in. So just kind of a couple of times, just inhaling to that point where you feel that resistance. Hold here. You're also welcome to just stay and take a couple of breaths right where you're feeling it. Notice that I'm trying to counter Shlambhasana by lifting my um, sternum. And then we could take it back down. So maybe just doing this one more time. And then inhaling and exhaling to come back. And then we'll just now go in a full rainbow, inhaling to come up, exhaling to take it back. Inhaling up, exhaling back. And you could do this with a really loose grip, or you could do what I'm actually doing is I'm pulling outward towards the edges of my walking stick. I quite like also having this walking stick in the winter when I'm, I get a little lazy on cold mornings. I don't really feel like going outside. And in this way, I feel like I'm bringing the trees in the forest inside. <laughs> a little a little forest therapy in my in my studio. And we're going nice and slow here. This isn't gonna feel like a workout in the traditional way, but we are uh, working a lot with the fascia here. And I often find um, that just doing this kind of work 10, 15 minutes, even while I'm watching something on Netflix, uh, changes my energy. Okay, just one other thing, which I didn't mention, rather than roll your shoulders up to your ears, you could try to keep the shoulders relatively down. And obviously if we've had shoulder surgery or rotator cuff injuries, you're gonna be really, really uh, gentle and not everything we do might be appropriate for you. So we really have to uh, respect and even come to love our limitations. The, uh, the Roman, the Stoics call that amor fati, falling in love with your fate, loving exactly what's here 
and that includes these bodies as imperfect as they are. Let's just do this kind of one more round. And you could do this to fatigue if you feel like stopping and doing more. That's fine. Ooh. And then I'm going to use this stick as, a, and if you're doing a broom, you're going to use the, the other side of the broom just as a way of helping me balance. And I'm going to just step back here. So I'm coming into a sort of, in yoga, we would call this a supported downward facing dog. I could bend both knees. I could bicycle my legs by bending one knee and then the other. I could really wag my tail by gliding my hips to one side and then the other. If I was really um, up for it, I could also play with balance here. Like kind of a supported warrior three for those of you that have a yoga practice, otherwise known as standing on one leg. <laughs> and I could do this a few times. I could even open up the hips. Oof. And then I'm gonna come right back up. Okay, and so then um, the next thing I want you to do is simply to take the stick back behind you, the mop or the broom, and we're going to have the stick on three points in the body um, and just do a little posture. So I'm, I'm having the stick on my, uh, my sacrum. I'm having it more or less between my shoulder blades, and I'm having it on the back of the skull. And if I wanted to, I could also add a little bit of a stretch, particularly for the upper arm, by pulling upward with the upper arm and downward with the lower arm. Doesn't really matter which arm you start with. Just taking a few breaths here. If you wanted to add in a little movement, you could just do some simple calf raises. But we're really working at um, making sure that these three points are here so there's not a lot of tex neck going on. And, and this will start to, to fix some of those issues. And now I'm getting even a little bit more playful. So I'm lifting up my heels and then my toes. And then we're just going to switch to the other side. So as it feels right, come on over to the other side, sacrum, shoulder blade, skull. You do anything you want with the lower body, including just hanging out. Breathing is always an outstanding idea. <laughs> And we could even play with a breath that's, uh, that's very loose and soft. That's even allowing yourself to just breathe in and out of both the mouth and the nostrils. This is not a breath we typically do in our yoga practice. but it's one that really creates a, a sense of great spaciousness in the body. Good. Then we're gonna um, just take your stick or your broom back behind you so it's about at the level of the waist or just below it, like the sternum. And my palms are forward I'm going to wrap my fingers around there. You could just wrap your thumb around there. Again, part of the key is just figuring out for yourself that width that makes the most sense. And we're just going to inhale to raise the arms back behind us. Exhale to come on down. Just really being gentle and making any readjustments. I'm going to go a little bit closer together as I do this. And by the way, if the breath doesn't work for you, you could leave it behind. And you might notice that the shoulder blades kind of naturally squeeze together. There might already be a difference between 
uh, the right and the left side of the body. So just kind of being really aware. Yeah, especially over the course of the pandemic, I'm really aware that a lot of these videos, we've done a lot of um, emphasis on the neck and the shoulders because of how much more of our lives have gone um, online. Meaning even more screen time for a lot of us. And in, uh, in yogic cosmology, this part of the body is related to space, creating spaciousness, space being the most abstract element, a container for our lives, helping us hold space for ourselves. <sighs> Good, and again, if, you, if you've gotten fatigued already, you're stopping, I'm just gonna go another few times. And I'm just naturally f f finding myself rocking just a little bit. So you'll see me moving. It just feels really good. This is the way that the fascia also unwinds. Okay. And then I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna take the stick to one side. Oh, do a really nice side bend. I could open up a little bit through the chest. I can close. My hand can be on the back of the head or it could be reaching up. See what feels right for you. I'm gonna take that to the other side now. <sighs> There's something also about having the stick for stability, but also um, to work against that makes this much more of a practice of, of strength. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is, is one, another thing for sort of the shoulders, we're gonna draw circles. So I'm gonna start with my hands down in a V. I'm gonna raise my, I'm just doing my left arm first. Then I'm gonna take my right hand towards the back pocket. Then the left hand comes towards my back pocket while my right, right hand reaches up and then both of my arms go forward. Left, right hand by back pocket, left hand by back pocket, both hands forward. And I'm just gonna go really slowly as I do this full circle. And again, you might be playing with different widths. Um, you might notice that I'm only, I'm only holding on with sort of my palm and my thumbs and I'm letting my fingers spread out. That's really comfortable for me, but you could also make fists. And you could stay, especially if this is a new movement for you, stay in this really slow and meditative state. Uh, it could also be quite fun. <laughs> to begin to play with oh, get, getting a little speed. Um, but don't sacrifice good alignment for, for velocity. And you could also, you know, stay still or move here so there's no limit. If you get dizzy, just keep looking ahead. And then we're just gonna go in the other direction. Left hand back pocket, right arm back pocket. And I'm just switching. Your arms can stay as straight as you want, or you can put a little bend in this. Over the summer, I found myself, I live very close to um, Malcolm X Park here in DC, and it's a nice big, space and sometimes I would take my stick to the park in the evening and I would actually walk around the perimeter of the park while doing these exercises for my for my shoulders. Very hippie style. <laughs> so that can be nice if you've got a 
a big space around you. And again, going as quickly or as slowly as you like. All right, let's just do another two. And then we'll just take the hands down, take the hands in a little bit. Feel free to close your eyes. This is a little bit like our mountain pose. Just tune in. Notice what you've already been creating for yourself here. Awesome. And then let's go ahead. We're going to step the feet a little bit wider than the hips. I'm going to turn the heels in and the toes out and come into goddess pose, right? Kind of like a prayer squat. I'm going to just take my arms up over my head. I'm remembering to keep the shoulders relaxed. And I'm going to do those side bends to one side and then the other. And I'm just going to go back and forth a few times. If you wanted to, you could add in a little bit of um, kind of a plie here. I would inhale to come up, exhale to come down, but you might find that the opposite feels better for you. Inhaling as you come down, using the exhale to bring you up. So this practice looks pretty silly, but it feels pretty good. And of course, you know, if there's anything going on with shoulders, then maybe you just do this in a really gentle way with the arms bent. So there's always ways of reconfiguring it. If you don't, if your body doesn't like plies, you don't have to do that. You could stay really high. You could also do this straight legged. And actually, if you do it straight legged, you might find that you feel it a little bit more in the um, oblique muscles, right? All right, let's just do one more on both sides. Wherever you are is awesome. Heel toe the feet back in. And let's take some twists. So one possibility is just to relax your forearms on your stick and go back and forth or go side to side like this. If you like taking the stick above, you can certainly do that. And if you liked taking that stick behind you, you could certainly do that. So just see what feels really good for you. I'm widening a little bit here because that feels better. If you tend to get uh, dizziness, then I'm going to invite you to find a gazing point, maybe a beautiful plant in the room that you're in or a flower beyond the room outside the window. There are these evergreens that we could still see. I kind of think of evergreens as being, uh, I mean, all trees really are resilient, right? But evergreens don't need that much light to keep giving us color <laughs> throughout the winter. And I like to remind myself that I can be like that too. I can, I could thrive even in these periods of darkness and uncertainty, I can make the most of the light that there is outside and even inside because all of our bodies create light in the pineal gland, in the form of biophotons that then travel through the fascial matrix, which we are gently stimulating and activating in this practice. So you could do this for however long you feel like doing this. I'm gonna um, stop right here.
take a little pause. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna use this as a way of just gently marching and bringing one knee up at a time. So I'm beginning to play here with balance, which I just lost for a second because I was looking at the screen. And you know, you can take the arms all the way overhead if that suits you or just lift them to a certain point. You can also march with straight leg. I always recommend in all of these movements that you go a little bit slower than your mind wants you to, um, that's when you're really going to begin to feel the benefits. So slow is the new strong. Good, and then if you wanted to, let's come back to bent knees. Only, you could either stay right here or you could add in a twist. So as I lift up my left knee, I twist to the left. As I lift up my right knee, I twist to the right. And again, you could do this with bent knees or straight. You could also uh, just do this with the stick on the floor. So you don't have to go from zero to 60 in three seconds. Let yourself enjoy wherever you're at. <laughs> and if you make a little topple like I just did, it's okay. All right, and then let's come through center. Feel free to draw some circles here. You could have the stick down or not. We're just circling around with our hips, keeping a nice bend through the knees. Good circling around in the opposite direction. Oof. One last little balance position. I'm just gonna take my stick to the ground um, a little bit more to my my in my left hand, and you could either have your right hand on your hip or released. And I'm just gonna again slower than I want, draw circles with this knee. If I try to be nice and slow, I'm activating through my belly you're gonna uh, feel it through the core, through the lateral hips, through the glutes. And it is really nice to do this with the additional support of tree. And you could do as many of these as you like. I'm just gonna come back around to the other side. I have not been counting I'm just enjoying. And I, I, I guess I do want to say that, again, especially in winter, which is uh, meant to be a little bit more introspective, uh, cozy is another word I think about. I think about searching for that light inside your home, inside your heart, especially when the days are short outside. Joy is really um, important. Maybe that's the reason for all, all of our winter holidays. Whew. And so letting all of your practices, including your movement practices, be joyful, enjoyable, not feeling like there's something you should do for your health. Because the shoulds will kill, <laughs> will kill the vibe. <laughs> Mm 
And so we're just circling around on the other side. Kind of hip mobility and strength. And if you need more than the stick, by all means, walk yourself over to a wall. Good, and uh, let's do a few more. In my own space right now, you can't see it, but I've got some aromatherapy going. I've got uh, a candle on my altar. And I just really, I love to help set the space to make things more joyful. Let's go around in the other direction. My altar is basically pictures of um, family and friends who uh, are no longer here. I've got a big bouquet of pink roses that someone gave me. I've got some turkey feathers rocks and shells that have meaning for me. A couple of quotes that I'm working with. Woo! Good pause here. It might just feel good to rock a little bit from side to side. We could actually, let's move the, the stick out of the way. I did a whole video on shaking, but let's just take a moment to just gently shake a little bit. If you want, you could just shake arms. If you want, your shaking could be more up and down or more side to side. Sometimes I do, uh, it, it's, it's not the nicest sounding, but I call it butt jelly, <laughs> where I rapidly bend my knees and I just kind of let the flush go as quickly as they can. And then let's come to stillness. On your next inhale, let's draw our arms all the way up, overhead, and then palms down, elbows soft, chi shower. We're just drawing the palms all the way down, imagining any uh, stagnant energy being offered freely to the earth. Inhale. A nice long exhale. As you give this energy away. And just one last time. This time as we bring our palms down, we'll stop right in front of the heart lifting the sternum towards the thumb joints. We'll inhale gratitude and we'll exhale gratitude to one another. Thank you so much for joining me today.